Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another morning weather forecast here by Agent Weather Forecast. This will be another update on the big severe weather risk for the South Central here. We have major updates on the SBC outlook, major updates on the uh, super cell composite parameter, on the Cape Valleys, and on the radar. So this is what we're going to be taking a look at right now. And then if we have any major updates in the evening, I will have another late, uh, video in the evening. And then I'll possibly have another tropical update in the late afternoon or mid-afternoon. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for 2,280 subscribers. I want to try to get to 2,300 by the end of the week. So please share the video to anybody that you think will be getting severe weather so they can be weather aware. But with that for you, let's get in this video. So we don't have really anything in the National Weather Service as of right now. The severe weather won't really start uh, until later in the afternoon. I'm just going to do this before it actually starts so you guys actually have time to prepare and all that. Um, but here we have a ton of flood uh, flood uh, warnings and flood advisories uh, throughout these areas in the South Central and also parts of the Mississippi Valley. That is where we're going to be seeing a lot of rain in these areas. So basically, that's really the only thing we really have related with this, really. Uh, not any, The severe weather won't even move in here until really tomorrow or even Friday. So that's what we have right now, of course, nothing yet. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at the SPC outlook for today. Uh, really, my map for yesterday wasn't too far. It wasn't 100% or it wasn't spot on, but I was actually pretty accurate on the enhanced risk and how they extended it to the north and to the south, even a bit more to the west. So this is what we have right now where we have an enhanced risk. This is where we have our best probability for severe weather. That's going to be the areas near Abilene, Law in Oklahoma, areas into western Oklahoma and northern Texas. And then we have a new update with a added slight risk for the north central plains here and parts of the Midwest. Now really the central plains, that's where we have another slight risk there. And then we have a huge slight risk as well for the south central throughout portion of the Texas all the way up into the into Kansas. So we do have a very widespread threat for severe weather today, but the worst of it will be maintaining in the south central. But we have two areas of slight risk where we do have that possibility, of course, for maybe some smaller size tail. Um, not as not as really big of a threat for winds though. <clears throat> so, it does seem like 20 out there, it's not going to get any higher. So I, that's a, that's why I'm saying that's why I said yesterday that I did doubt the problem. The I did doubt that we will have a moderate risk now. We still have a five percent chance for tornadoes, which is still a good probability for tornadoes because we've had multiple tornadoes in areas that haven't even had it that didn't even have a chance. So this is this basically this is going to be extending all the way to Kansas to Texas. So we have, we have a bit more of a widespread of a tornado threat there. So that's going to be all the way to Kansas to Texas in that brown color. Seems like hail is the biggest threat as of right now, and with a thirty percent chance, but we also have a significant risk, a significant severe risk. So that's going to be extending all. We have that thirty percent chance. That's going to be for Oklahoma and parts of Texas where we have enhanced risk. And then we have a widespread significant risk for hail. So it does seem like the probability for hail is very widespread. We can definitely possibly see three to four inch size hail as our maximum size of diameter. And then we have the other 15% chance in the north in the in the great central plains. And that's exactly why we have a slight risk there. And then we also have that widespread risk for 15% chance in the south central. As you, as you can tell, we have a huge area that has a risk for hail so definitely be seeing a lot of hail reports by the end of today there on the spc reports uh as we know look in the wind threats today the wind threats also quite high this is going to be severe weather related winds so we're not going to be seeing like, strong winds all day like we're not going to be seeing strong non-severe thunderstorm related winds because the jet stream is not strong enough we're not seeing any wind shear so the only strong winds you will be seeing today is going to be from severe weather related. So we can definitely we have a 30% chance now for strong winds. We don't have significant severe risk. Um, that's going to be in the areas in the enhanced risk, so areas into western Oklahoma and central or north northern Texas. And then as we get into tomorrow, we also have the possibility for some strong severe weather. I think we could possibly have an enhanced risk tomorrow. Uh, most likely for these areas, I think we can have an enhanced risk for these areas as well. So definitely seem like we will have another huge multi-day threat, and that's going to be following up into tomorrow and even Friday. Now as we check out the new NAND 3KM model, here we have the next coming hours later today. Some strong bands developing to western Texas 
and here we have to find low pressure system. Like I said, we are going to be seeing scatter bands across the South Central, and that's why I mentioned this flood warnings and flood advisories off the Mississippi Valley. Uh, Valley. As you see, we have a huge uh, uh, linear bands or linear bands here. That's going to be heading towards areas into Dallas. Going to be heading towards Central Texas, heading more to Oklahoma. This isn't going to be really a squall line because we don't have it really forming on a cold front. It's going to be really strong. A potential QSES, but I highly doubt it. But we are going to be seeing, of course, a, a wall cloud formation. Uh, and that's where you see where some really strong and fast uh, bands moving uh, there. That's going to be heading, that's going to bring in a risk though for parts of north central Texas. So it's really, it's not going to really hit Dallas really hard. And we're still going to see these bands south of Oklahoma City. And then it'll kind of fall apart before it even gets to Dallas. You guys might see rain showers, but nothing much. And then as we get later into Thursday morning, we have a severe weather risk now for Central Texas, and then we have a big risk for the Midwest. And this is actually going to be absolutely crazy. I think today or tomorrow might actually be worse, in my opinion. Or I guess you could say it today will be worse because of the big hail probability and tornado probability. But this is definitely bringing a lot of hail, though, and a lot of strong winds. We're going to be seeing severe weather across Lake Michigan, uh, heading towards in, into the western coast there for Michigan. And then that's going to be by Thursday morning, and then again Thursday afternoon or Friday morning. Look at this huge severe weather risk, absolutely crazy. We're gonna see these are most likely gonna be, uh, these are most likely going to be squall lines. Uh, so we're gonna be seeing that probably that's gonna be some really strong severe weather to St. Joseph, Kansas City, uh, Rockford, Davenport, and that's gonna bring some really, really bad severe weather for Chicago areas into uh, all the way into Lansing. Uh, far southern Michigan. So this is a huge, huge squall line. This is definitely showing you the really strong severe weather we're going to be seeing and also a very strong band that parts in Kansas and Missouri. So we're definitely going to be seeing, I really think we can have an enhanced risk tomorrow without a doubt. And then we'll have two areas. Then we'll have areas near Joplin, areas near the South Central, and then even the Midwest that are going to be seeing severe weather. So very, very widespread severe weather threat. And then we'll be seeing the worst of it now I believe it's going to be now more into Saturday or late Friday. Then they'll be heading once again to the South Central. So like I said, we're going to be seeing multiple waves in these exact same areas. But the Midwest seems like it get hit really hard as well. So we can't rule out the possibility for tornadoes and hail in those areas. Here we look at the low pressure system uh, that forms into wet, uh, eastern uh, Colorado. Like I said, we're going to be seeing scatter bands with the South Central throughout much of today. But as we now get into the overnight hours, very strong bands now for western Texas and parts of uh, western Oklahoma. Here we had that low pressure system that has actually strengthened, and then it kind of then we had the severe weather uh, developing into the Great Lakes and the Midwest, and then it gets a lot worse, of course, by later in the day by Friday. I think that we're definitely be seeing extremely he heavy and severe, uh, strong severe weather throughout Michigan, um, parts of the Midwest, all the way to the, to the uh, Great Central Plains. And look, it's going to be stretching all the way to Michigan to Oklahoma. So that's, that's going to be another widespread severe weather risk. And it seems like we'll definitely have a lot of hail. And then we have this potential, of course, tropical system that does move up the coast and all of that. So now as we look into now the Cape Valleys, here we have these higher Cape Valleys developing later today. We'll continue to see these Cape Valleys getting higher as we move on later into the evening hours. So really in the evening hours on today, we're going to be seeing uh, some decent numbers. We're going to be seeing... Uh, some high 2000s. That's not extremely high. That's moderately high. Usually once it's above 2000, that's when you have that severe weather risk or potential for strong pop-up bands. We have very, very weak cap and we also have that marginal severe weather risk. So it definitely seems like we could have a lot and very powerful bands to develop into the, uh, evening, into the evening hours and overnight hours because we have very extremely weak caps. So no, really no threat for or no, there's like not really a probability necessarily for actually weakening or sorry weakening these bands and then we have the severe weather risk still having an extremely weak cap so <clears throat> a perfect scenario for severe weather other than not having all the wind shear and as we get more to thursday evening to friday we're going to be seeing a really a widespread area high cape valley going to be seeing really uh, decently high cape valleys some mid 3000s throughout a part of uh, oklahoma so we're going to be seeing some very weak cap and then by later Friday, we could possibly see our highest numbers really in the South Central here. Definitely gonna be seeing a possibly for some uh, mid 4,000s, low 4,000s. But the only problem is cap will strengthen a bit. 
uh, but it's still going to be very weak at uh, negative 23. Definitely seeing a possibly for tornadoes in the south central throughout Oklahoma, those mid 4,000s. Definitely going to be seeing a very weak cap and that possibly for tornadoes and large hail. And that possibly does uh, kind of fall apart as we get more into Friday in the evening. And then same thing, the supercell composite parameter. We'll be seeing some decent numbers. <clears throat> I apologize. We'll be seeing some lower to moderate numbers on the SP, on the uh, SCP. And we'll be seeing some teens there. So not a huge pop probability for supercells, but we actually do have a potential, or actually really high risk or potential for supercells developing into Kansas. But CAP is, it, it's still weak, but it's getting a bit stronger to negative 73. That's still, uh, that's still considered a weak CAP, but it's still it's still rising numbers um and then it does fall apart by thursday and then by once again on friday we have higher numbers on the 20s once again like once it gets above 20 that's when it's considered high so we do have a probability uh, for tornadoes the cap is still very weak and it looks like we can definitely have a uh, significant hail and supercells here and then that does fall apart by later into friday in the afternoon as everything does cap out later on but i hope you guys did enjoy the video please do not forget to like and subscribe and bye guys